also Claire O'Connell from Dublin City University and I work at the Biomedical Diagnostics Institute. Um, I'm just sponsored by the Irish Research Council and my talk tonight will be lighting up the way to earlier cancer diagnosis. Cancer happens to us when our normal healthy cells lose their ability to die. So they keep growing and multiplying until they form small clusters of large amounts of cells. These are what we call tumours. And if we catch cancer at this early stage, it's quite operable and our survival rate is quite high. But the problem is when it goes undetected. And so the tumour grows into the surrounding tissue, especially if the tissue <laughs> grows into some blood vessels. If the cancer cells can again get into our bloodstream, they have access to any one of our vital organs. And if the cancer spreads to these vital organs, it makes cancer treatment extremely difficult. But what if we had a way to detect the cancer in our blood before it even gets a chance to take root in our organs, nip it in the blood as such? This could save millions of lives. But the challenge with this is that in one milliliter of blood alone, you have millions of healthy blood cells. And maybe there are only 20 cancer cells in there, or even less than that. So for me, I had to come up with a way to find them in the blood using light. So how do I do this? I want you to imagine you're at the scene of a crime late at night, and you happen to see the thief getting away, when suddenly there's a blackout. But you happen to have a glowing tennis ball to hand, and you manage to stick it on the thief's head before he gets away. And you do this because there are guards circling overhead in a helicopter trying to find him. And after a while, they spot him, but they almost don't, because that one glowing tennis ball is not very bright. But what if you'd had time to blow up a clear balloon and stick dozens of these growing tennis balls into it and stick that on the thief's head? This would make it very visible, it make the thief very visible to the guards and easy to spot. Well, cancer cell detection currently works like this, except instead of having glowing tennis balls, we have fluorescent dye molecules. What happens is we shine a small bit of light on the molecules and they absorb part of it. And then after a little bit of time, they release it back out, causing them to glow as such. This is what we call fluorescence. But what if we could make a balloon-like structure for uh, cancer cell detection. This would provide a very um, coherent model uh, for cancer cell detection. So what I do is I make really tiny silica particles which are transparent, much like the balloon, and I put hundreds of dye molecules in there. But they're really tiny, only one millionth of a millimeter. And so I can attach these to cell. It makes uh, the job of our lab technician trying to find cancer cells in your blood much more efficient, saving them time and effort trying to spot them. Um, in 2012, 8.2 million people died of cancer. And the World Health Organization has predicted that this is going to double over the next 25 years. I want to make it as obvious as the moon in the sky if you have cancer or not, because you may only have one or two cancer cells in there. I want to light up the way for cancer cell detection so that I can save millions of people's lives in the future. Thanks very much.